We're here with Kyle Kuzma at the Puma and League Fits Lounge. Uh, exciting time for Puma, obviously yes, All-Star Weekend, um, but celebrating kind of the off-court style of all the Puma fam guys. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is kind of go through some of your best fits, okay. some of your other maybe not so best fits, in my opinion, but we'll see what you say. <laughs> and we'll see Got how you. this looks. So this, this is gonna be the first one. First one. What was going through your head? What's the mentality when you want to go that bold? Um, man, I should pick a better shirt. That's one. But this was at Master Square Garden, which is a red apple. This is a very red suit. You know, it just popped a little bit, so I was like, hey, let's put it on. And so this was a real clean, kind of, it's pretty subtle suit. Did you like it? I liked it, but the, the bottom of the pants to me, the bell bottom. I would have went a little more tapered. Walk me through the whole concept, and then most importantly, what was in the bag? Oh, uh, man. You don't want to laugh? There's nothing in the bag. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Once you walked in the locker room, what was the feedback and response you got? Um, you know, people <laughs> laughed at it and whatnot. I knew I looked good. Okay. Yeah. I think of fashion as art, and I kind of treat it like that. So when I'm dressing, you see all the yellow. And then you just see a random, you know, parka that's a different color, you know, it pops and it just makes a blister of colors, if that makes sense. Something else I noticed this season, started to get known for the glasses. Glasses. What are, what are those glasses? And you've been wearing them for a couple weeks now, right? I've been wearing them for a while. In the summertime, I started really wearing sunglasses. I got a lot of, like, sun this summer. This is probably the most known print you wore, which was the, really? full, the full suit. The full suit. Full suit bands. So is that, that's fully custom? Like what's the process to get fully something custom. like that? Yeah, fully custom. You know, my guy that makes all my suits and tailor made this phenomenal fit right here. And uh, this was actually last year. I really like this. I wish I still had it. I don't know where it went, but. You lost that custom suit? I like it. Like Did it you up. see the memes that followed up? Like how much do you really notice when people are obviously getting their opinion out on what you're wearing? Um, I see it. I see it for sure. I mean, you know. Um, you see everything in today's generation. Um, but you know, you laugh at it, it's whatever. But uh, I feel like the people that make fun of it is people that don't know how to dress or you know, just wear blue jeans and top, you know, so. And then I would say one of the most kind of instantly viral picks. Iconic right here. Was this one. <laughs> Walk me through the whole setup, the where you right were, here. and then what happened with the Coos Challenge. Man, you know, I didn't expect this to really do anything, honestly. I just took the picture like this. And, like, just, if you, if you know me, I stand like this all the time. Just because it's like my natural, like, standing pose. Okay. Um, especially when my legs hurt. And this is after I, I went to the gym and I worked out that I went to go shop. And I was in Louis Vuitton. And I tried on these pants. I'm like, man, I really like these pants. I'm going to get these. And I just took the picture with them on. And then it just went viral. I think it's because glasses, and I'm just looking straight. Um, but no, it was fun, and I, I didn't expect it to really go crazy how it did. So, all right, then we're gonna kick yeah. it. We're gonna take it back about a decade. Another teammate of yours. What do you think of that fit there, man? He's got some crazy gloves on right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very interesting fit. You know, this is just crazy that. Uh, you know, just the evolution of what kind of fashion is, you know, dating back. I don't know when this was. This is probably like 06. I think it's 07, 08. Oh, see, I could tell by the jeans. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting choice. You know, got the cassette tape or I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's an old iPod. iPod. Like a walking? Oh, that's an iPod. iPod. It looks like a walking. Um, right. And then we also got a layered fit there. What do you think of that one? You know, Bron, his uh, his layer fit is like A1. I think he's he got the best layer fit in, in the league, for sure. Uh, you know, he just does a great job of, you know, blending colors, but also like layering. Last Bron fit, as we get towards the playoffs, this kind of went viral a couple years ago. Yeah. Are you guys all hoping you get some suits as a team? Yeah, but I'm not wearing shorts. No go? <laughs> no, I'm not wearing shorts. What do you remember thinking this, when you saw that? You know, obviously, you know, whatever he's wearing, it's gonna look good, whatever. But this bag, I remember this bag was like $40,000, which is insane. And I think this was all Tom Brown. Yeah, it's a good fit. All right, and then last but not least, we got Jared Dudley. <laughs> Why is that so funny? 
That's funny. Keep going. I didn't expect JD. We got JD with the turtle yes, neck and the long sir. You know, he's a sleeper in this fashion stuff, for sure. Um, I think he's honestly just stepped it up this year because I've never seen him dress before. He's got a, he gets a lot of love on league fits, and nobody really anticipated nobody that. Nobody does. Yes, but he does. A, he he kills it every game. He's always walking in. And he's he's excited to show his fit off in the locker room. Like he's the most excited. Him or Troy James the most excited. You know, they walk in, you know, with a smile on their face, waiting for somebody to say what they're wearing. It's dope. And uh, yeah, JD. All right, man. Well, thanks yep. again. Appreciate you hosting us here at the League Fits Lounge. Yes, sir. Going through some of your fits, and the loud ones as well, like the red apple. You like that one, though. Come on. I love Stone Island. I'll wear the tops. Yeah, exactly. I have iridescent pants on right now, so I probably don't have the right approach anyways. But <laughs> that one, to go head to toe was a lot. Yeah, so, no, that was but, a lot. But it's a big apple. Got to take risks. Exactly. All right. Chances to make champions. Remember that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.